Today we're going to give a really unique custom look to the front of this 2015 Mustang GT with a Renegade Series Performance Upper Grille. This Renegade Series Performance Upper Grille is going to be a direct replacement for the factory grille on all 2015 through 2017 Mustang GTs, V6s, and EcoBoost. It will be a direct replacement using the factory hardware and includes unnecessary wiring. This is a performance style grille and it's wide open in the center and even opening in the lights as well. It features a pair of LED DRL lights that will work with your factory wiring. For this installation, you'll need a lift or a jack and jack stands or ramps, quarter inch ratchet, 5.5 millimeter socket, 7 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket, flathead screwdriver, and a small flathead screwdriver. To install our upper grille, we're going to have to remove the bumper cover, which isn't actually as bad as it sounds. The first thing we're going to do is remove this plastic radiator cover by removing all the little push pins. With the cover off, now you can see the six large screws. We're going to remove those next. And the last step up here, underneath this weather strip, two more small screws. All right, now we're moving down to the wheel. We'll have to pull back the splash shield itself so we can separate the bumper from the fender. Again, we have some more of these little push pin clips. And there's one more clip underneath here. We'll make it easier to remove the splash shield. And now we can pull the splash shield out. And pull it back enough to so reach the bolt, which is right here. Okay, I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. We'll move it underneath. All right, we're underneath the car. We're going to remove these four splash shield screws here. Okay, after the four screws in the back, there's two more up front. And remove the four clips. Okay, so we're ready to remove the bumper. An extra set of hands will definitely come in handy here, but this part tends to break on these cars. You want to kind of get your hand behind it and sort of shimmy it out. And it'll pop off. Get okay, the sides off. You can lift up the center section here, get it off the studs. And then the wiring harness will be over on the driver's side. Driver side, then I'll plug mine. And move it from the car. All right, so we have the bumper up on a table. Put something down to protect it because it's going to go face down at some point. But the easiest way to get these clips off is with two people. What you want to do is have one person push on the outside while you remove the clips on the inside. So we get these clips off. If you can see the blue, this is part of the body. The clip comes up over the edge of the grill and then is held in place by this back piece. What you kind of have to do is sort of push it away while pushing the grill. So that's why it's nice to have an extra set of hands to do this. Always start on the ends, usually right in here. Once you get a couple of them going, it will get a little bit easier, but take your time because you can't actually pull this right off the body if you're not careful. Okay, we got that one. Let's get down here in the corner. And you'll hear it kind of make a little pop when they come off. There we go. No, it's not for sale. Okay, ready to install a Renegade grill. Make sure the wiring, kind of tuck it in here so it doesn't get stuck in the grill. The nice thing about this is it installs on the factory studs. Pick that up. Actually, pop this off to make it a little bit easier to line it up. This comes off very easily. So what I'm gonna do is line it up on 
all of the tabs. It is easy for them to get inside and outside of the edge. So make sure they're all lined up. Start pushing down, hold the bumper. You hear them lock in place. Okay, once they're locked in place, you're gonna place the centerpiece. So before we put it back together and start tapping our wires, we hooked up a battery just to see what the lights look like. They're nice and bright, should look really good with the factory DRLs. All right, so before we install the bumper, we're gonna wire up the DRLs. To do that, we have to get to the headlight harness. And the best way to do it is kind of reach underneath here with the bumper off. You can find the little clip. And fish the harness down to make your connection. The kit includes these wire taps, and the wire we're gonna be tapping, this is gray with the purple tracer. Now again, if you would like to solder, I highly recommend you do so, but these are included. So you to make sure that's locked tightly on there, and we're gonna put a terminal on the other end. Put the terminal on the blue wire that's included in the harness. Now it includes a blue and a black. Now the, the instructions are gonna give you two connections you can tap into on the wiring harness. I'm actually not a fan of tapping if I don't have to. So what we're actually gonna do is take this end and put it to a factory ground. Just connect that to the DRL. Connect the positive wire to our plug here. And we're gonna put the ground right over here. Okay, you wanna make sure, don't forget to plug the headlight back in. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is fish this harness through our bumper. Just give everything a more finished look when it's done. And then you can take the rest of your wires, zip tie them safely out of the way. Okay, make sure you plug in the fog lights to the provided harness, and also plug in all the factory lights before we put the bumper back on the car. Again, be especially careful with these clips over here. Okay, we're we'll start putting the bumper back together now. Make sure all the alignment tabs are seated properly and reinstall the original screws. Don't forget the little screws in the corner here underneath the weather strip. Now the radiator cover can go back on. Now move down to the wheel wells. Okay, now we're gonna carefully reinstall the screw. It goes from the fender through the bumper. Now we'll reinstall the splash shield and all the factory clips. Okay, underneath, now we'll reinstall all the push pins. And then reinstall all the screws. And your installation is finished. As you can see, our Renegade grill adds a nice custom touch to the front of this 2015 Mustang. The DRLs work well with the factory DRLs, and it's got plenty of airflow for your factory radiator or an air cooler if you have one. The installation is pretty typical. Like I said, you do have to remove the bumper. It's a two to three hour install, and you'll be back on the road in no time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos, and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.